Yo, what up, guys? Your boy JT Doc here from King Gaming. Um, I know I haven't been posting on my channel lately, and that's because I've been working on all these clips you guys see right here. Um, actually, doing a believe it or not, it's been rendering for quite a while. Let me get it from another monitor real quick. Uh, just to show you, it's <laughs> 16 hours and 32 minutes rendering uh, because uh, that's one of the climaxes I wanted to put as much uh, time and effort on and to show uh, what what I'm about to the tutorial is about uh, Twixer I know it takes a long time and I did a lot of Twixer on this so that's why um, it's taking a quite a bit but it's almost done in about an hour um, so what I was going to talk to you guys about it was the motion blur that a lot of people have been asking me about that, how did I get that on Vegas? Um, I got Vegas open right now. Um, I'm working on my, I'm working on my um, free for all montage. Uh, wait for it soon. It's gonna be called Doctor Unleash 1.0. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I promise it's gonna be 13 minutes, but it's gonna be well. I'm trying to make it around six, five, so a decent, pretty good uh, free for all montage. But you guys are gonna get this from the link on the description below. Um, as you guys see, it's called RSMB. I don't know. Motion blur, I guess. It's, I don't know what the R stands for, but motion blur. And what will happen is, I'm just gonna throw in one of these clips, and I am gonna put a a, a sample a video at the end of this, so that way you guys uh, get the idea how it looks like and how it will look like in a minute edit. I'm gonna do like a 30 second clip, and I'm gonna put some music on it just to you know, see how it turns out. Um, so all it takes, you just grab it and just drop it on the clips. That's how it works. Um, make sure you do restart your computer afterwards, after you install this, because yeah, it will do the same thing like I told you about Twixter. It would not be installed and everything. Um, don't know why that happened. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you can see that it has motion blur on it. I don't know, full. You guys can see it better. Okay, so it depends. Um, when I drop this, it's supposed to be that big box. I guess my computer was like this box right here. Um, you see, there's motion blur on it. I just put 0.50 because if you put too much, then it would look really good. Um, so there is motion blur right there. Um, you can put it up to. I don't know why the value is probably because it's cool. Um, but you can see it looks really nice. And If you go to like 1.50, um, you'll see that it completely changes. It'll give it more. So it depends how it turns out. You know. So you see right there, it's a lot. You see it around scope and everything. Um, there you go. See, it's a lot of motion blur. Um, but I guess it's your choice, but that's motion blur basically. I don't mess with any of these things. I just change that number right there. And you have this little thing right here which you can actually put down. Right there, you guys can see it looks really nice. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be on my montage, on my free for all montage that it's gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for all the clips because it takes a while. Actually, it takes a while for the motion blur. I think it's like a minute per second to render, so yeah. Um, but I kind of want to do that for all my clips because I want to make the montage pretty nasty. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And here's the little clip that I was going to show you. Peace, rate, subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any questions. And make sure you guys post a video response in case you guys try this um, and it comes something nice. Post a video response. Alright, guys, peace. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>